What you guys got another video here for you on how to migrate a Windows user to a different Windows 10 PC. Now, if you've got a user profile on your system which has all your data on it and you want to transfer that to another computer, then this video is for you. Occasionally, we have to reinstall Windows, and this is a great way of quickly backing up all of your user profile uh, information. So, let me go ahead and show you here. So, inside your C drive here, you're going to have your users and you may have multiple users here, but we're just talking about one user at the moment to back up that user account, which is Brightech in this case. We're going to be using this piece of software here. There's two types. There's the user profile uh, wizard release 21. This is for user profile wizard 21 is for the latest version of forensic IT's powerful workstation migration tool, which is a user profile wizard to migrate your user account or user account profile to a new domain account uh, and that's this one here and we've got the other one here to move to another computer so if you've got another computer you can use the transwiz uh, for transferring the user profile over to another computer you've got the links here for different various operating systems windows 10 and windows 7 and windows xp and so on so just download the appropriate uh, version which you want to use okay so I'm going to download this and get it installed. You can see here, this is the software. Let me just quickly install this onto the system. Agree to their uh, user account control and uh, let this install. Once that's done, we can now launch the uh, TransWiz. So go ahead and launch that. I'm going to say yes to the user account control. This is a verified publisher, which means it's safe to use. So we're going to go ahead and let that run. And here we have our software. So you've got two options here. What do you need to do? So it says, I want to transfer data to another computer or I have data and I want to transfer to this computer. So we're going to do the first option first because we want to transfer this data to another computer. So we're going to back this up basically. Click next and now we can select the user profile that we want to uh, back up basically or transform, migrate. So now we can see here, user profile transfer wizard, we can show unassigned uh, profiles here as well. Now I'm gonna select this and click next on the button here. Now we need to specify a name and the path of the file where the profile will be stored. This is where you want to save your uh, information. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, click on the browse button and browse to my USB flash drive. First off, I'm gonna do the fast pack, no compression, and I'm gonna select this here and uh, select an area on my USB flash drive. You can see my USB flash drive here. Now, depending on how much data you've got to uh, store or backup, will determine what size of drive you're gonna need to back up your data. Now it's asking us to put on a transfer uh, file password. This is good for security, so give it a password that you will remember, and you can enter that password here and confirm your password by putting it in the box below and click OK. And once we've done that, we can continue preparing the transfer of our user profile to our USB flash drive. Now, depending on how much data you've got to uh, back up will determine how long this takes. This is a, a pretty uh, new install. There's not much data on here, so it shouldn't take too long. But if you've got like a good few gigabytes of data, it's going to take a while to copy that stuff across to your USB flash drive. As well, having a fast flash drive and also a fast PC will also determine how fast this copies the data across as well. Now this is just one way of backing up your user profile. There's quite a few different ways of doing this, but this way is a really good way of uh, transferring your user profile over to a new computer. So that's just gonna verify the transfer file to make sure everything has been transferred over correctly. And you can see now the transfer file has been successfully created. So we now have got that uh, created and now we can check that out and then we can uh, put this onto our new machine. So if you just reinstalled a new operating system, you can now copy this over to that new operating system and have your user profile exactly how you had it before uh, you wipe your machine and reinstalled Windows. So we can now finish off this, click finish, and we'll go to our USB flash drive. And you should see on here, you should see the file and you can see it here. That's our file. Now yours will be a larger file if you've got a lot more data on here. But basically, that is our file that we can now use to transfer back onto the new machine.
So here we are on the new machine. I've got the software on here. I'm just going to quickly agree to the terms and conditions and launch the TransWiz. And that should say yes to the user can control here. We've now got this launched. And here is our software. All I need to do now is choose the bottom option, which is I have data I want to transfer to this computer because we've already got it backed up. We now want to uh, transfer it back on. So now we need to locate that file that we backed up on our USB flash drive. Very simple and easy to do. Just locate it there, select it and click open. And now what we need to do here is select next. It's going to ask us for that transfer file password that we had here. I'm just going to put that in and click OK. And now you can see it's give us the enter the domain here. And we've also got enter the user account name. So we've got the user account name already there. I'm going to set this as my default logon user profile, which I want to use. Select next. It's going to ask you, do you want to create a new profile here? Or do you want to merge it into another one that you've already got on the system? Depending which one you choose here. So if you want to create a new one, you can do. And uh, you can over write the existing files here if you're going to merge it as well if you've already got an account on there so i'm just going to use the merge one for this one here and just click merge and overwrite any files that are there and it's going to unpack our transfer file and copy those files over to our windows 10 machine that just takes a bit of time now depending on how much data you've got will determine how long this process takes so bear in mind that your mileage may vary. So once this is complete, we should have the profile back to exactly how it was before. So any pictures you may have had in your pictures uh, folder or photos folder, videos, or any sort of content like music, uh, a desktop wallpaper, anything like that should be reverted back to exactly how it was before. And that's what we've got here now. So let me click finish here. And you can now see we are back to exactly how it was before. And it's put the programmed back onto the desktop that were there previously and it's all done so that's basically how you can transfer a windows 10 user profile to a new pc so i hope this one's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a big special thanks to all those people who have joined my youtube members group your names are rolling up on the screen right now so a big thank you to you guys have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. If you want to join our Discord server, the link is in the video description. Uh, join all our community over there for a chat, and I shall see you on there over the weekend. Thanks again. Bye for now.